Sorry about that. I want to make sure it's clear. If you're wondering what this white is, it's just dry shampoo that I'm letting sit in my hair. I'm not gray. We're gonna do some makeup. Hello, Kendall. By the way, guys, if you see white in my hair, it's dry shampoo. Hey girl, love watching your videos. Much love from Arizona. Much love from Texas, girl, thank you. Hey, Hillary. What are y'all doing today? It's Monday. Who's, who's working, who's home? I feel like I come on live at crazy times, but it's easier for me to do during the week when hubby's at work. So I'm gonna start my makeup. I know we only got like 11 people on here, but I'm gonna start my makeup. Um, this is the Neutrogena Matte Primer Plus Serum for shine control, and it has rice protein in it. I'm testing this out currently. I don't know yet if I really like it, like if it's helping me. You have to mow the lawn. That's going to be hot, girl. Uh, going to Walmart, then finding hidden clearance. Hell yeah. I'm filming today, so I figured I would come on here and do makeup with you guys because I have been getting some requests for makeup. And it's just easier for me to do it on live while I'm about to make two videos. I'm home with back pain. Three more weeks to go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that your back feels better soon. Um, so I'm going to let that sit in my skin. And then I'm going to put the e.l.f. Putty Primer for pores. Thank you. I've been loving my Flutter Habit lashes. I'm definitely going to order from them again. I highly recommend you guys. I wake up every day and a lot of the times I just don't put on makeup or if I do, I put blush on and a lip gloss and it's like the greatest feeling ever because you feel cute. There's just something about lashes. I know I should feel cute regardless, but when it comes to the lashes, I just wake up and I feel cute. And it makes me want to wear makeup less, which is good for my skin. I think this guy's falling off over here. I'll have to fix him later. Also, I did new nails and I know I've been getting requests on how I do my nails. So I promise the next time I do my nails, I will film video. So um, these are the Kiss nails, the Gel Fantasy. The white ones are matte. And then these ones are like a clear gel with... Uh, this has sparkles on it, gl uh, gold glitter, and this one has rhinestones. They're so pretty, and they're the size long. Hey, Coco. Thank you. I love them. I love nails that look like stripper nails. I'm sorry, but I do. But I can't get them like this. You know how they, they've been getting nails? Like, all the girls on TikTok have nails this long. I can't. I can't. It's already hard enough to wipe my ass like this, to be honest with you. But um guys if you don't have me on tiktok please subscribe or no follow <laughs> please follow my tiktok i'm trying to grow it to 10,000 so that i can go live on there because the way that you make money on tiktok is going live so i'm trying to add another stream of revenue so i can pay my bills um it's funny it's funny how People think that I make like all this money off of YouTube and I, if I didn't have my husband, I would not be able to survive. So it's not as crazy as people think it is unless you have way more subscribers than I do. So I need another stream of revenue. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the bag. You know what I mean? So please add me on TikTok. 
I want to start doing Shein hauls on there too, like with music in the background. I mean, if you watch these videos, it'll probably be the same, but it'll look cooler because it's got the music that's viral right now. And then I've been doing like nail hack videos and then just like funny responses. I get sassy on TikTok. I love to clap back because I feel like stifled on YouTube because you can't act a certain way. I don't know, but I love that I get to be like, when somebody's rude to me, mm. but I try not to do it here. So that was the e.l.f. poreless putty primer, the original. Let it all sit in my skin. So y'all have been asking for makeup tutorials on like all the looks that I've been doing. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't even wear foundation. I just wear concealer. And I think today I'm going to use a cushion bronzer. Where did it go? circles where the heck did my cushion bronzer go hold on okay so this is the wet and wild cushion contour and it's in the shade Cafe Osley. I just put this on my Dollar Tree haul. So we're going to be using that and we're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, thank you, Jessica. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 Sand Sable. And that's what I use like instead of a foundation because I really like my natural like freckles. I don't have like a lot of freckles, but I do have some and I just like my skin to show through so I don't like to put a lot plus I just I'm over the way that heavy makeup feels it feels disgusting and I'm just gonna put a little bit here because I have a little bit of redness and there my kids go being loud already And I just take this e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. It's just a small dome brush, and that's what I love to blend my concealer out with. Not because it's the best, or I mean, it works really good, but it's just more because it's fast and easy. Boom. Let me tell them to be quiet. Hold on. Okay, I saw that much love from Arizona. Much love from Texas, Jessica. Thank you. Good morning, Lady Queen. I'm sorry I missed that one. I feel like I haven't been live in a while. I almost wanted to go live on the vacation, but... It was hard to film, honestly. I was enjoying myself. Now I'm gonna take this smaller one by e.l.f. and it's the Flawless Concealer Brush. It's just a smaller dome brush. But I like this because I have the lashes on and it's easier to get in this inner corner right here without getting it all over my lashes. And then I'll just take a little bit and kind of put it on the eyelid and do the side of the nose. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, just doing this full time, it's so, I have so much inspiration and so much time to do it. Good morning, April. Yeah, it's rainy over here in Austin. It's all like, I don't know if you could see, it's not like super sunny. It's like partly cloudy and it's honestly gray outside. It's lame weather. 
I am in Austin, Texas. I'm actually in the outskirts of Austin. So not, not straight up Austin, not downtown. I could never live there, but I'm like in the hill country of Austin. Y'all, I got a P.O. box. Did you see that on the Dollar Tree haul? I got a P.O. box. I know a lot of people were asking me when I was gonna get one again. So I got one. And um, I'm gonna be sending out those cleansing brushes very soon. I need to announce the winners. And honestly, I just need to wait to get paid so that I can send out, <clears throat> cause it costs money to ship them, obviously. Good morning, Sherry. Hey, Mariola. So yeah, once I get paid, I will have the money to ship the winners, the cleansing brushes. And that's because I have a P.O. box. I was waiting to get one, so I'm super excited. Space City! JT, why do they call it that? Because honestly, like, I really don't know. I've never heard that before, so like, give me some knowledge. I used to have family that lived in Houston, but they don't live there anymore. But I only spent time in the woodlands. Oh, I am so silly. Wow. Wow. I'm silly. That makes sense. Houston, we have a problem. Christian is ignorant. All right, I'm going to go in with this cushion bronzer now. There's what it looks like. And I like to use a brush like this. It's like very packed. And it has a little bit of cream blush on there, but that's okay with me. But this is by Royal and Lang Nickel. It's an angle kabuki. Good morning, Mona. Okay, see, I look a little bit too light because of the concealer, but then I have like, I have some natural contouring. It's really crazy. I put SPF on my face when we go to the pool, but I still get tan because I suck at reapplying. I just like never reapply. I know that's bad, but I just forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I bet that's really cool, Space Museum. I was just watching Armageddon a couple weeks ago. Super random, but that's a good movie. What's y'all's favorite movie? Tell me what your favorite movie is. I would love to know. I have too many, but one of them I'll say is Titanic. Hoo! Hoo hoo! Titanic is iconic. Thank you. And then another movie I love, A Walk to Remember. Ooh, I'm a romance girl. Interstellar, I feel, have I seen that? Who's in that? Remind me of who's in that. Love and Basketball is one of my husband's favorite movies, for real. Oh, me and my husband love The Notebook. Together, that's like our favorite. He's like, don't ever tell people that, but I just told y'all. I love 90s movies too. Clueless, yes. Clueless, I love. There's another one that's an iconic 90s. <sighs> What am I thinking of? It's like my favorite, it's my favorite ever. Oh, Save the Last Dance is my, Save the Last Dance and 10 Things I Hate About You. Yeah, I'm spilling hubby's secrets. Save the Last Dance and 10 Things I Hate About You because I'm a Julia Stiles lover and a Heath Ledger lover too. And oh, Sean, Sean Patrick something, I forget the actor's name, but 
love all of them those two movies are like top 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 i could watch them back to back forever if i couldn't watch anything else i would watch those two videos oh my god save the last dance and 10 things i hate about you love those movies those are iconic 90s too i love julia styles the prince in me is not bad but it's not her best <gasps> girl you better find them on a streaming thing ASAP and you better go watch them. You're gonna, if you like the 90s and the 2000s, you need to watch it. Interstellar, Matthew McConaughey and Hathaway. And is that when they go in space? I can't remember. Thank you, Chantel. This bronzer is flawless. If you find this in Dollar Tree, girls, if you find this in Dollar Tree, get it. The cushion makeup is amazing. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much, Mary. That's really nice. Yes, 10 Things I Hate About You. <gasps> Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That is a good movie. I don't know why, but like my husband doesn't like the Terry, uh, what is it? Terry, what's his name? Tyler Perry. <laughs> I mixed it together. The Tyler Perry movies. He thinks that Medea's annoying, so... He doesn't like to watch them, and I'm like, oh my god, I love Medea. She's fucking hilarious. Medea is my spirit animal, like for real, for real. Oh, I love Adam Sandler too. Adam Sandler's one of my favorites. Oh, I love 51st Dates. Oh, thank you so much, Mary. I really appreciate that. You're beautiful. That's so nice. John Wick, I'm embarrassed to say I haven't seen it and I've heard so many good things about it and I haven't even seen it. I know, I know, I'm crazy. Uh, what was I about to do? I'm gonna do my freckles now. Like, I want them to stand out more. So I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Inkwell liner in the shade Vampira. It's like a dark red, but when it dries, it looks brown. So, before I put powder, I see I have one right there. And right there, and I just like them to like shine. I one right there. And I just like those to be prominent because I think they're cute. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna go in with powder. Um, this is honestly the best drugstore powder you're ever going to find because there's no flashback, it has a tint, it's flawless, it's gorgeous, it looks like a filter, and it's only like five bucks. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 25 Medium. I had to go up a shade because I had 20 before, it was like a little bit too light. So I'm just like tan because I keep going to the pool. How well does the liner stay on? Really, really well. It really does. I know that there's some, you know, people don't like things by Kat Von D, but she did sell her brand, so it's just a brand now. But it stays on really, really good. How was your visit with the family? It was good. I miss my mom so much. Did y'all see pictures of my mom? Like... Her and her fiance are just so cute and oh, I can't wait till their wedding. I can't wait to see my mom get married to the love of, her lo love of her life. She's had a difficult love life and she deserves to be happy and I just love seeing her. I adore her. Um, I want to be closer to her so bad. It makes me really sad. She's like my best friend and she tells me I'm her best friend all the time. I'm definitely the favorite child. I know that's messed up, but 
I'm the favorite child. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh, I just wish she was my neighbor. I want to have like drinks with her every day. She's my favorite. I didn't get to see my other siblings, unfortunately. I have three siblings and two of them were in Massachusetts and they were not able to come like have dinner with me and see me and it makes me really sad that I like barely have a relationship with them because they're 10 and 15 years younger than me so it's like quite a difference but um it was really really good thank you for asking April they leaked the trailer for the new Halloween movie and I can't wait for spooky season <gasps> what I didn't even was a new halloween movie oh hell yes i'm seeing that jt i know with this texas heat it gets real oh yeah is the fit me powder good for dry skin i have very dry skin yes it's like neutral it's not a super mattifying powder and it's not a super hydrating powder it's like right in the middle for all skin types i personally think it's for all skin types so cute you and your mom are close yeah it wasn't always that way um but i'm very blessed and just so thankful that it is that way now so when i was younger it definitely was not that way i got some sad stories but we're not going to get depressing right now And I'm just like going over the little things that I put just so they're not super dark. But honestly, on Snapchat filters, it looks really good. To have those beauty marks. I'm like so rough when I do my makeup. <laughs> Y'all probably like, she's like beating her face up. And then I need to go on with a smaller brush by my nose and my eyes. So part of me is excited for spooky season, but the other part of me is having so much fun during summer, I'm like not ready yet. I meant to respond to you on that one. I'm like loving summer right now. I want more bikinis. I know, I haven't been live in a while. I'm glad you got to catch it. I know I like never give you guys notice cause I suck. It's mom life. I blame it on mom life. I just never know when I'm going to be able to, you know? I was gonna do an Ulta haul and then I decided that I didn't really get that much stuff. So I'm probably gonna do an Ulta haul on here in just a minute. But this I got from Ulta. It's the Neutrogena Matte Primer and Serum Shine Control. And then I got a new butter bronzer cause I needed a new one. This is the new packaging. And I love this bronzer. This is the deep bronzer. It just says deep bronzer. But I just needed a darker color. See, I love fall too, but I like the heat because of going to the pool and the beach. But it's not like I love the heat, you know? It's just that I like to be able to go cool off at the pool or the beach. But if I'm wearing makeup and I'm trying to be cute and it's hot, I freaking hate it. But wearing makeup in the heat sucks. 
I really only do it for videos or for going on date night. Otherwise, I don't wear makeup. Thanks, Latasha. I love me some Walmart. And Dollar Tree, I've been on the hunt. I saw somebody haul a full size hard candy foundation. And so I've been on the hunt. I'm gonna go again on Thursday to Dollar Tree and see if I can find anything because the best day I have found to shop at Dollar Tree is Thursday because they have finally unloaded the whole truck, uh, at least where I live. This bronzer is so natural and gorgeous, isn't it? And it smells so good. And then I've been using my Estee Lauder blush all the time. Like any team, any time, any team, anytime you see me wearing blush, I'm probably wearing this. It's called the, the Pure Color Envy Brazen Bronze Blush. And it's like a peachy bronzy color. And I use this Dollar Tree blush brush. And I love this color so much, it's so pretty. And I like to connect the nose. Like I got sunburn or something. It's just been my obsession. I might have missed it. Let me see. Oh, those palettes you bought at Dollar Tree, I could not find at my Dollar Tree. Bummer. Well, just wait to enter the giveaway because once I reach 20K on YouTube, I'm going to do a Dollar Tree giveaway and I have two of those to give away. So stay tuned and make sure you enter the giveaway and hopefully you can win one. That's why I try to always pick up like the awesome brand name stuff because like, uh, you know, you never know like the people who can't find it in their stores. And that's why I want to give them away to people because I know it's hard to find that really awesome stuff. And then whatever blush is left, I like to do this. And up here, just like, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do something different with my eyebrows today though, cause I feel like they haven't been coming out the way I like them, but what I usually would use, hi Maria, is this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown, but it's just not coming off the right color for me, so I think I'm gonna use this LA Colors Brow Cream Gel. That's okay. Um. And um, yeah, it's a pomade. So I'm gonna try this because they just haven't been coming out the way that I want them to. Yes, not all Dollar Trees have the same thing. When I went to Massachusetts, I found full size lamps, like a straight up lamp by Sunbeam. Remember years ago, people were finding those. I found like boxes upon boxes of them at the Dollar Tree I went to in Massachusetts, but they don't have those here. And I wasn't about to buy lamps and then like somehow bring them home with me because that's just too much. And I was sad because I totally wanted to get them for my kids' room, rooms. Like what a deal. It's all depending on what stores are around them uh, because like, and like what uh, city or town they're in because they get products from other stores. Like if from my understanding, what they do is if they can't get something off the shelf organically, what they do is they make a deal with Dollar Tree, the company, and they sell it to them for like a one-time price, very, very cheap. And then Dollar Tree goes and profits off of it by selling it for a dollar. So if they were like, okay, I've got like a hundred of these mascaras, 
brand name but we're changing the packaging and so we need to get rid of these ones but we can't i'm gonna sell it to you for um ten dollars and then the, for the whole 100 of them right and then dollar tree buys that and then goes and sell them for a dollar each so then they make a 90 dollar profit does that make sense from my understanding oh you're in new jersey i was right next to you so from my understanding, that's how it goes down. Thank you, Georgina. I think I like this better. I forgot, I forgot that pomade was a thing. Yeah. Yep, not every store has the same stuff. That's why usually when I do, like when I want to do a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, I go to two to three different locations in a day to go find all the good stuff. Like that's the only way you're going to find all the good stuff is if you go to like multiple locations Thank you. Hi from Texas. I'm using the LA Colors Brow Cream Gel that I found at Dollar Tree and it works amazingly. This is in the shade Medium Brown. Yeah, I've never uh, spent time in New Jersey before. Part of me would love, like, I love Texas, but then when I went on vacation, I was like, man, I miss New England. It's so beautiful, so I feel torn. Part of me would love to go back to New England. What is that? Watch it downstairs. Ugh, kids. Um, no, they are not the Ioni ones. They're the Flutter Habit ones. I switched back. So it's these right here. It's in the style of the flirt. I have three pairs left. But it's like 30 bucks for six pairs, which lasts you a whole month. So I feel like it's a really good deal. I'm gonna get more. That would be sick if they sponsored me, but they probably won't. Yeah, it's not bad. I think it's super for it's way better than lash extensions. And the best thing about it is when something messes up, you can fix it yourself instead of being like, oh, gosh, I got to go make an appointment or I have to wait and look crazy for, you know, weeks. So that's what I like. I like the control. And that's why I also do my own nails, because I like to have the control of being able to, like, fix it if something gets ugly or broken. Um, instead of having to wait until I have an appointment, then I got to drive over there and pay them and blah, 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 blah. 
yeah, New England is beautiful, and I love the fall there. The, we don't have a fall like that in Texas. It doesn't get all beautiful like that. It's just brown, and I miss it so much. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Latasha. I try. <laughs> I like, I really like these eyebrows better than the ones I've been doing. I'm very happy with how this turned out, actually. I'm gonna set it with this Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel in the shade Brown, which I feel like I'm already out of it because I feel like barely nothing comes out I feel like I just got it though just not a lot of product comes out on that one gotta stay organized here I just cleaned my room this morning so I could film uh what was I about to do I always like to take that concealer brush and kind of soften up the middle so it's not all like chola brow. I feel like they're not completely, okay, they're sisters, they're not twins, it's fine. Um, Let's see. Thank you, Ellie. Thanks to you, I've been buying a lot of things from Shein and I love their stuff. Prices are great. Yes, girl, I'm glad. I'm glad that you like them because honestly, if I wasn't sponsored from them, I would still be doing hauls from them because I truly like their stuff. And the amount of variety for plus size women is insane i mean like i think they go up to a 4x which is really good it would be nice if they expanded their sizes even more one day but i still feel like you know for all of us between zero and 4x there's so much variety so much clothes to choose from and they're not trying to dress us like frumpy old like I'm, no offense, I love Lane Bryant, but like the way that Lane Bryant does their clothes is like for like, oh, that's just like the typical what they want plus size women to wear. Shein is like, oh no, girl, you gonna rock everything that a skinny person can rock too. Here's your size and it's in your cut for your body, for your curves. And I, I love it. I love Shein so much. And their bathing suits are so good. Like, I don't want to wear a grandma bathing suit, you know what I mean? I want to wear two pieces. And there's just so much to choose from. So affordable. You're in Vermont. I think I've went to Vermont, like, one time. But, girl, I'm chunky, too. Woo, I'm a size 16 now. I was a 14, now I'm a 16. But, like, I think I always was a 16. I think I just didn't shop in a 16. Because I didn't really want to like admit it to myself, but I feel way more comfortable in sizes 16. I hear you. I know it's difficult to like trust that it's going to be the right size, but they do have free returns, which is good. And I know it's like such a bitch to return stuff. Like, I get it. You know, I wouldn't want to do it. It's annoying. But. Just so you know, it is free returns. And uh, once you like, once you take, once you trust it and just do it and take the leap for the first two times, you should have a pretty good idea of the sizes that you're gonna be. And then plus read the reviews and know your measurements. If you know your measurements, it's so much easier. Like. I'm a 43 bust. I am a 37, 38, probably 38 waist. And I am a 46 hip. And so I know that and I go look at the chart and for each and every product, not just, 
one across the board for each and every product i look at it and i look at the reviews and i see if is it a stretchy fit or is it no stretch because that's going to make a lot of difference is it supposed to be baggy is it supposed to be tight it's all i know there's like so much to consider but i feel like you have to consider that in store anyways right By the way, the eyeshadow I'm using is this little elf one called Peach Squad. And it's just, I'm just using the peach shade. I think that's all I'm gonna do on the eyes. I don't really do much on the eyes. And now we need lips, but hold on. Wait, I need highlighter. I'm gonna use this Milani Strobe Light Sun Glow Highlighter. I've been to Salem. I've been to Sa Salem several times. I love it. I love the witchy stores so much. And it has the oldest cemetery in the United States, right? I've been there. I love it. I went when I was pregnant with Mila too. I need to take the kids though. One day I got to take the kids. So I personally feel like the quality of Shein is about the same as forever 21 but for a cheaper price that's personally my opinion i think you get way more variety of styles from shein than you do at forever 21 and i've had shirts and things from forever 21 that fall apart the first time i wash it sometimes that happens from shein sometimes it doesn't if you really like take care of your garments like i like to wash my stuff on delicate and then i either hang dry it or uh dry it on delicate depending on what it is a lot of times i just hang dry it so it doesn't shrink but i have to do that with forever 21 clothes too um and i've been meaning to do a haul uh next time i have like a big chunk of money i can spend i want to do a haul from forever 21 because i haven't shopped there in a while because i prefer shein so much it's cheaper and the quality is the same so yeah i they do do a lot of polyester stuff but just read the fabric content because if you don't like polyester you know don't choose a bunch of polyester stuff but there is a lot of cotton blends and the cotton blends feel really really nice quality and they do have some things that are 100 percent cotton or like cotton and elastane and those are better quality than the 100 percent polyester Today, yes, I'm talking about Shein, sorry. Uh, today, all I have planned is filming videos. So that is what I'm... Yes, I feel like Forever 21 is such a hit or miss. And they, they just don't have the variety that Shein has when it comes to plus size. Um, today, I'm just filming two videos. That's why I'm getting ready for the day. I'm going to film some TikToks. Follow me on TikTok, guys. I'm trying to make it to 10K there. Um... But yeah, that's all I'm doing. And I think I'm just going to do a boring lippy. This is the Essence Lip Liner in it's waterproof and it's in the shade because duh. Oh, I always break it every time.
And I'm gonna go in with this tiny little MAC lipstick. It is Velvet Teddy. Ooh, I love that. Been a long time since I've done like a matte nude. Hold on. What's for dinner tonight? That is a very good question. I actually haven't thought it out. It's probably gonna be rotisserie chicken which sounds really boring, but it's so easy and it's so filling and it tastes good. So we just get a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store and we like to make it with like canned green beans, the French style, and rice pilaf. And that is a dinner that we've been doing a lot because we're both very busy and it's just easy to throw together. It's very filling and it's very tasty. So don't sleep on rotisserie chickens. I'm gonna get a brush. Last night we had tacos. What should I do with my hair today? Thank you. Oh, I forgot to spray my face. I'm gonna use this Hard Candy Matte Sheer Envy Setting Spray. All the things to control my oils. And then I like to take this plain little spoolie and brush my lashes. I need to, I'm gonna do an Ulta haul in just a second. Zigzag part. <laughs> I was doing those last year actually. I like to get a makeup wipe and like clean off my jewelry. So it can be shiny. Okay, let's do this the rest of the old haul. First of all, look how cute this is. I got this for free from Ulta and it's a cooler. How freaking cute, okay? And this was, what day was this? Saturday. So it's a really good size cooler. Oh, thank you, I love those rings. I've been wearing them nonstop. So the reason I got this cooler for free is because you buy $25 worth of Neutrogena. So I went ahead and I got a two pack of their Hydro Boost Cleansing Towelettes. 
and they remove waterproof mascara, boost hydration for refreshingly clean and touchably soft skin. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. They feel amazing. I've already opened this pack. You guys, the Hydro Boost ones, I love them. They feel so good on your skin. And again, with hyaluronic acid, we love that for um, looking and staying younger. So I got that. I got this one that I already showed y'all. And then it was like a two deal thing. So you spend $25 on Neutrogena and then you also buy two Neutrogena and get one free. So what I got free was my favorite face wash, which I talk about all the time, but I need this in my life and I was running out of it. I got it from Ulta. So they had a deal where you buy $25 worth of Neutrogena and you uh, get a free cherry cooler. So, and then you get a free buy two, get one free on Neutrogena. So I got this for free because it's $11.99. And this has benzoyl peroxide in it. It's maximum strength, rapid clear for stubborn acne. It's a cleanser. And this is what I use on my face twice a day to combat any acne that might want to come. But this is like the best face wash I've ever used for my acne ever 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 if you have sensitive skin and you have reoccurring acne use this every single day even if i don't have pimples i still use this every single day so that they don't come back so it's like preventative and it helps fix it um so that's really what i went there to get and then i started getting a bunch of other stuff but makeup wipes i always need and i always use them so i got them anyways then i got these nails from ulta and then I got this pack of nails from Ulta. And this is the Gel Fantasy by Kiss. And it's like a very light milky pink with a silver glitter. And these are in the long. So then they were having this fun thing. It was like a party at Ulta on Saturday. Then they were having this fun thing where if you buy anything by Mario Badescu, you get to spin a wheel and you could get like a free eye cream or something. So I just bought this little one for $5 because I love this rose spray. It's a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water by Mar Mario Badescu. And then I got a free sample of Mario Badescu aloe moisturizer with 15 SPF. So... That's what I got as my free prize. And that's everything I got from Ulta. I really didn't get much. I just really wanted to get this cherry bag and I needed my face wash. So yeah, spent like 60 bucks, but it was totally worth it. This is so cute. This is so cute. Look how big it is. I'm gonna take my white claws in here and I'm gonna go to the river. Yeah, buddy. All right, let me get some little chonguitos so I can do my hair. Okay, I guess we're gonna do a um, full get ready with me where I do my hair too. So I tried to go live on my new computer and I couldn't figure it out for some reason. But that would be so much easier. Cause then I could play music on the background. Can you play music on live here or do you get copyrighted? I wonder, I bet I would get copyrighted. So this is kind of like a French braid, but it's just twists. I shouldn't have put my lip gloss on yet. I mean, my 
lipstick on yet. I just got it all over my white nail. Hopefully it doesn't stain. Hi, Natalia. And see how cute that is? Isn't it precious? And it's like you get to wear your hair down, but then you get your hair out of your face. To do this, you only use two pieces and then you add to one side and twist it. It's kind of like a French braid, but way easier. My baby gravy. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna put a second rubber band for security. Y'all, lately there has been men hating on me on my YouTube and the comments get blocked. I'm like, really? Really, sir? Do y'all have, um, I know, right, April? I know. I've even had people DM me on Instagram from watching me on YouTube saying some inappropriate shit. Do y'all have 4th of July plans? Thank you, Mary. I love it. How long have I been on for? You know what, y'all? I'm gonna go ahead and get off so I can film my videos. I need some more coffee. So I'm gonna go make a nice coffee and I'm gonna go film two haul videos. I'm so excited. I love clothes. But thank y'all for watching my live. Thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you, Francis. For me, we're going to go watch fireworks at my husband's work. They're going to let us go watch a bunch of fireworks being blown off. So, Oh, thanks. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get going. Love y'all. Thank you, Georgina. Blessings to you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. If you want to talk to me more, add me on my social medias. Add me on TikTok, Chris King 79 I'll be there.